We're going to take our mat and we're going to roll it up for Malasana. Before we do Malasana, I want to show you a variation. If you have any near back issues, this would be my suggestion for you to do a sumo squat instead. You can still bring your hands into a prayer. This is just not as low a squat. And that way, if you have knee sensitivity or back issues, you won't be feeling it. Make sure whichever variation you're doing, your abs are in and you're lifting up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. All right. So sumo squat for a hold at the bottom or come down with me into Malasana, bringing your heels onto the mat and bringing your elbows into the inner thighs, pushing the inner thighs into the elbows and the elbows into the inner thighs, trying to neutralize our pelvis so we don't want it tucked under, but we don't want it arching back either. We want our belly in, way below the belly button. We want to lift in and up on the muscles that stop our stream of peace. Stand up for me. Break without locking in the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Brace the abs. Go ahead and sit back. Hold it back for 10, nine. Find that neutral pelvis. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up. Rest. Keep a soft bend in the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, sitting back. Hold it back. Breathe, inhale. Puff the shoulder blades back. Exhale. Neutral pelvis, inhale. Brace the abs, exhale. Inhale, stand up. Rest for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, prepare. Feel the pelvis grounding down. Exhale, put the inner thighs pulling you back. Play around with the pelvic position with the abs engaged at the bottom, tipping it back, arching, and tucking it under, and then finding that happy medium. Make sure there's equal pressure between the baby and big bone of your big toe. Low belly is firm. Knees aren't caving in. Put some weight in the outer edge of your feet. Go ahead and brace your abs as you lift up. Rest again for five, four, three, two, one. Final set here. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, inner thighs pull you back. Hold it back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stand it up. Hold it up. Good, let's roll our mat back out. And we're gonna move into dolphin prep to strengthen our upper back. Once your mat is out, I want you to stand at the top of the mat with the feet hip distance apart. Soft bend in the knees. Inhale, take a forward fold, grabbing opposite elbows. Hold it here for me. Inhale. And exhale, brace the abs as you do a subtle side-to-side -side swing, initiating it and then letting gravity take over. Breathe with me here. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more breaths here. You can switch the elbow you're holding just so you even it out. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. We inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice, one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Hands to the floor, soft bend in the knees, step back into a plank position. Slowly lower your knees down onto the floor. Come onto all fours, hands and knees. Walk each hand forward. A forward a foot and once you've done that tuck the toes under send the pelvis back lower onto your forearms one two brace your abs puff the shoulder blades back lift the chin to involve the neck flexors push down and out into the forearms pulsing forward for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one, lower the knees and rest for five, four, three, two, 
One, set back up, low belly firm, pelvis up, soft bend in those knees or deep bend rather, push down into the forearms and out, puff the shoulder blades back, lift to the chin, pulse forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower the knees, rest for 5, 4, 3, 2, one final time, take it up, brace the abs, puff the shoulder blades back, soften the sternum in towards the shoulder blades, pulsing forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We'll lower the knees, step our right leg forward, bring our hands to that thigh, Straighten our back leg, brace our abs, and we can step to the top of the mat from that lunge. We're now going to move into a transverse plane, step to balance for injury prevention using our warrior three. So we can stand in the center of the mat facing one another with our right toes extended. Imagine the right toes are to, at 12 o'clock. We're going to take them to 3 o'clock, softening that right knee as we stand on that leg and lift our left leg and find our balance, creating a parallel line with our entire body to the floor, puffing the shoulder blades, the back of the arms, everything up. Arms are at our side. And our low belly is firm. Turn back to face me. Let's repeat, extending our left toes to 12 o'clock, taking them to 9 o'clock, soft bend in the left knee. Arms at your side, square your pelvis to the floor, hold, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more breaths here, puff the shoulder blades up, widen your collarbone, inhale, brace the abs, and exhale. Rising up, turn back to face me, extend those right toes, firm the low belly, take them to three o'clock, find the balance, hold it here. Puff the shoulder blades up, plug the shoulders down, lift your chin, relax the front ribs in towards the back ribs, soften your supporting knee, rising up, turn to face me, extend the left toes, final time, take them to nine o'clock, find your warrior three, hold, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five, two more breaths here, inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four. Five, good. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Coming up, let's make our way over to the wall. We'll move into dancer's pose. Starting by kicking our right heel to our butt, grabbing the outer ankle, pointing the toes, stretching our left arm forward, bringing the pointer and thumb together in our root chakra mudra, the one that grounds us. So the color of the root chakra is red. So think about grounding and think about that color red as you're standing here. Perhaps the center of your heel is on a red circle and imagine it just rooting itself into that red circle. You're softening your supporting knee. You've got a deep lift way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. You're driving the thigh back as you lift internally in and up on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. You're watching out for the spraying front ribs, imagining those front ribs are reaching through the body towards your back body, puffing the shoulder blades back behind you. Let's release the lifted leg, turning around, switching legs, finding that root chakra mudra, imagining that red circle that the center of your heel is rooted in, grounding you, feeling strong and proud in your dancer's pose without losing the integration way below the belly button of the lower abs and the upper back extensors, the rhomboids, the trapezius, puffing our shoulder blades back through space to really stay tall and proud, you know, collapsing. Relax your facial muscles. Relax the jaw. Just focus on hearing the breath fall in and the breath fall out. Breathe with me here. Inhale, two three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Slowly release that leg, turn around to face me. 
great work.